Hey, what's up guys? In this video, I will show you how I customize the setup of my A7 Mark III for filmmaking. I have tried a lot of settings with my A7 Mark III for the past few months, and now I finally came up with these settings. So I am gonna walk you through to some of the things that I have changed. Let's begin. Set the top dial to movie mode since most of the changes will take effect only in movie mode. Next, go to exposure mode by hitting the menu. Change the exposure mode to manual exposure. This will give you full control of your ISO, aperture, and shutter speed. Since we are aiming for a cinematic look, we will set the file format to 4K with 24p as frame rate. While we're here, let's set up the SNQ setting as well. If you need to shoot a quick time lapse in slow motion, you can change the dial to SNQ mode. By default, the SNQ setting is in auto. To enable the exposure mode for SNQ, change the dial to SNQ mode, then go back to menu and change the mode to whatever you like. Select the 24p to match your file format and choose 120p for super slow motion. Don't forget to turn the dial back to movie mode once done. Next, we set the AF drive to normal. But for action scenes and shooting sports, you need to select fast. Move down to AF track sense. Set this mode to standard. It will keep your subject on focus even when there are obstacles in the foreground or when your subject is in crowded places. Movie with shutter. If you want to record using the shutter button, then you can keep it on. But I prefer to turn this off. Next is the marker settings. Set the aspect ratio to 2.35 is to 1. This will give you a guide to frame your scene if you'll be using a letterbox or block bars. Do not forget to turn on the marker display to see this effect. Auto power off temp. Set this to high. Finder monitor display. This allows you to fix the annoying problem of the screen going black when the sensor detects an object in front of the viewfinder. Choose monitor manual. Next, we will create shortcut by using my menu setting. Go to add item, browse for format, then add to this location. This will give you a shortcut on my menu setting to easily access the format option. Next, we will add the finder monitor display option. This option will let you toggle between the viewfinder and the monitor if you are shooting stills. Then, we will add PAL and TSC option. This will allow you to change between PAL or NTSC. I will create a separate video explaining this option. Last will be the marker settings, so we can access the guide frames easily. Now we have set the shortcuts for our filmmaking setup. We will now customize the function button. Go to function menu set. You can see that I did not use the upper functions to keep my screen tidy. For the lower function, you can pause this video or check the description below to see all the options that I have used. You can now easily access these options once you hit the FN button. Next, we will set our custom buttons. Navigate to the custom key with the film icon. We will set the control wheel to ISO, so we can adjust our ISO easily by turning the control wheel. White balance will be assigned to C1 which is located at the top of the camera. Focus mode set at C2. C3 will be our picture profile. And finally, C4 will be our APS-C Super 35 mode. This option will let you toggle from full frame to crop. This camera hack lets you use the extra zoom in your camera. Let's proceed to the next page. Multi-select button set to gamma assist. Very helpful when shooting in log profile. Center button will be our focus magnifier. Left button change to peaking display, letting you know which area is in focus when using manual focus. Right button set to grid lines. Down button change to audio record level. It will allow you to adjust your audio level when recording your video. AEL button set to center lock on. AF on button change to focus area. 
we will not change the focus hold button. This is the button that you can find on some Sony lenses, especially on G Master. We will now set the base setting of our camera. Set the shutter speed to 50. Always double the shutter speed with respect to your frame rate. Next, ISO set to 800. This is the minimum value when using S-Log profiles. Set the picture profile to PP8 or S-Log3. I'll put a link in the description below on how to color grade your S-Log3 footage. Next, set your aperture to f4. You can assign any value for this but I like my base to be at f4. We will save this setting to preset 1 so that every time we need to shoot cinematic videos, we will just toggle the top dial to preset 1. Navigate to memory menu and select 1. Now, we have registered this setting to preset 1. We will now set our second preset. Change the file format to HD and record setting to 120p. Change the shutter speed to 250 to double the frame rate. Go back to memory menu and save to number 2. This will register the setting to preset 2. Now, we have two presets ready for our filmmaking. Preset 1 will be your 24p cinematic setting. And preset 2 will be for your b-rolls. Okay guys, so that's everything. Your A7 Mark III is ready for filming. All settings are based on my personal preference. Hope this video did help you. If it did, make sure to leave a like. Subscribe to this channel for more filmmaking tutorials. Turn post notification by hitting the bell icon. And again, thank you for watching.